Two minutes on the path of grace. Jonah is a guy who had some issues. He had some problems. He was a bit rebellious. He had a bad attitude, so much so that when God would tell him to go one direction, Jonah would go the opposite direction. And Jonah's attitude problems created some problems along the way. But yet the beautiful thing about it, the amazing thing about it is we see that none of it takes God by surprise. In fact, God had prepared in advance for Jonah's rebelliousness because God loves Jonah, wanted to do something in Jonah and through Jonah for Jonah's benefit and also for the benefit of some other people. Now, when it comes to the book of Jonah, the first thing people think about is Jonah and the fish. And let me tell you, I believe it's more than just a fish story. I believe it is the truth. I believe that Jonah was a real person and the things we're going to read about really happened. Why? Well, first of all, in other places in the Bible, like 2 Kings chapter 14, verse 25, Jonah is referred to as a real-life guy, an actual person who lived, and it calls him a prophet, and it even tells us where his hometown was. And secondly, even more important than what it says in 2 Kings, Christ Jesus himself referred back to Jonah as being a real person. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus was being harassed by the religious leaders, which is a very common thing. And in the midst of their harassing, they said, come on, man, show us some proof that you are who you are. Give us some proof that you have the right to be doing and saying the things that you're you're doing and saying. Give us a sign. And Jesus, in response, said basically this, an evil and faithless generation seeks after a sign. And you guys aren't going to get any sign at all except the sign of the prophet Jonah, who had lived quite a while before the time of Jesus. And then Jesus said this, For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So as Jesus was really prophesying about his own death and resurrection, he says, just like Jonah was three days and three nights in a fish, listen, buddy, I'm going to be three days and three nights in a grave. But just as Jonah came up out of that fish, I'm going to come up out of the grave. To hear more, visit jamesflanders.com.